Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new LP that I'm doing in celebration of me getting a new controller, Eternal Sonata. Completely blind LP, I'm going straight into options. Uh, battle camera, I have no clue what that is. Attack button, I'm going to go with X. Seems natural. Vibration on. Music. This game seems based off music, so that's what I'm doing. Subtitles on. I'm going to kill myself for listening to the English acting, because, uh... This is blind, but I've heard bad things about English, so... But, I watch Naruto, so can't be that bad. To prove my point, load... Oh, here we go, we're checking our save files to see the complete files I have, and here we go, and... What is this madness? Blast me! Sparta! Yes, I just wasted your time to prove that I have not played this game before. I do not know anything that's going to happen in this game. I will be keep quiet during cutscenes and voice acting, no matter how horrible they are. And I will now start my timer. Why? Why did it happen? Why was she destined to die? What crime could a girl like that have possibly committed to deserve such a grim fate? She was only 14. And during those brief 14 years, what did she do? Simply cherish a love of music and revel in her girlish dreams. I'll never forget her. Even if the cruel passage of time should wear the threads of my memory so thin they break, I will always remember. So, once more, a new journey begins. Sorry for any noise you just incurred there. I forgot to mute my TV and listen only to the previews audio. So you may hear echoing and stuff. My deepest apologies for that. Once again, it all comes to an end. It's lovely to meet you. Or perhaps it would be more fitting to say, welcome back. I must do this. And it's for the person who means the most to me. My life is nothing compared to his. Doing this is easy if it's for him. Maybe I was wrong about the voice acting, it's not that bad. Maybe the- The rippling surface of flowing water transforms the soft light of the morning sun. The beams combine, becoming a spotlight that paints the stage. The flowers awaiting the curtain's rise display faces of bright red 
and brilliant yellow, they turn their ears to listen to the performance that is about to begin. Accompanied by the gentle rhythm of a babbling brook, the birds begin to sing. Meanwhile, a mischievous sea breeze causes a rustling amidst the leaves of the trees, disrupting the concert. It is a familiar scene, one that has unfolded every morning since the beginning of time. And even now, the daily overture continues, its delicate, perfect balance never faltering, never changing. In the midst of this joyous orchestration, at the center of the morning's discordant musical performance, lies a small village nestled deep in the wood. The name of the village is Tenudo. It sits atop a hill which overlooks the coastline. In fact, the town is only about four miles from the sea. Tenudo is very lucky in this regard, for the town enjoys a wonderful cool breeze and a view that is nothing short of amazing. Then there are the flowers. They seem to blossom almost everywhere in the town. They paint the landscape with color as far as the eye can see. And they are the reason Tenudo is also known by another name, the Village of Flowers. There is a harbor town at the foot of a hill that can be seen from Tenudo. When night falls, the lights from the town shine like diamonds and open the hearts of those who gaze upon their illustrious splendor. Under normal circumstances, one might expect to find a bustling shopping district for tourists in a village as beautiful as this one. However, no such shops are to be found, not here. In fact, the village is quite calm, almost strangely quiet. It is a place that exudes a peaceful tranquility, a tranquility that further increases its allure, as well as its mystery. because of the moon. Because of the moon? That's right. The moon charms the water in the ocean with its beauty. And because the moon is so beautiful, the seawater just can't sit still. Is that true? Really? <laughs> really? Don't you feel your heart start fluttering inside of you when you look at the moon? I do! <laughs> What about the paddle? Will it make waves when the moon comes out too? No, dear. There's not enough water. You need lots and lots of water, like the ocean, before it can make any real waves. Oh, I see. But that's weird. Why can't a little bit of water make waves too?
The amount of water is the most important part of creating waves. That can be said about people as well. There are many things in this world that can charm people's hearts, just like the moon charms the sea. Things like wealth, vanity, status, image, and power. People who are drawn to these things create waves, and the fear in their hearts makes the waves grow bigger and stronger. The more people there are, the bigger the waves can become. And as the number of people grows, the waves grow bigger and bigger. It can lead people to start terrible conflicts. This is probably too hard for you to understand. I guess. Hmm. If something like that ever were to happen, the only way to stop it would be for you to jump into the ocean. Because when you do, those big waves will become calm again. It may be difficult to do, but if you can be very brave, you'll bring joy to the person who means the most to you. Really? Really, though, comparing seawater stirred up by the beauty of the moon to the ugly waves created by the effects of human desire is rather an insult to the ocean. Huh. When will I gain control, I wonder? He seems to have calmed down, hasn't he, Doctor? He doesn't look like he's in pain the way he did before. It seems as though he must be having a pleasant dream. Yes. Well, that would be nice. It would be even better if that means he's headed towards recovery. A full recovery. It's said that people can have the most peaceful dreams just before they pass on. What are you talking about? How can you say that? I apologize. Hopefully, it's just an old wives' tale. Frederick. Ah, <sighs> I think I can finally talk again. I have to say, so far this game has left me sort of surprised. Kind of... I mean, I love the music, obviously. I mean, the story so far is rather compelling. And is she suddenly older? I guess I took longer than usual. Mom's probably worried about me. I'd better get home before it gets dark. And I'm guessing that is your mission. The training mission. Get home before it gets dark. Oh, I do have control. Alright, um... Let's see. Uh... Just, uh, checking to see what, uh, triangle opens the menu. This is Polka. Uh, she's a whole one. Uh, I have no floral powers. Yoy! Uh, excuse me while I just look through the menu. 
Uh, this is a huge first for me. I'm guessing this is her ability. Uh, this heals, I'm guessing. And Shadow Comet, I'm guessing, is a long range attack. And I have nothing to equip there. Party level. Tactic. Oh, uh, this all looks complicated. Uh, I think I'll just ignore that for now. Score pieces. Okay. Photos. I'm gonna. Piano music. Music. Ah, oh, this is all. This is like a. You know, sound test. Uh, options. Which we've. Heard. Wait, there's two pages of options? Oh, party controls. Okay. Well, um. I'm gonna say, I'm surprised at how good this game actually is, uh, so far. My timer's about to go off, so in the next episode, we will go through the path to Tsunudo and hopefully not get interrupted by massively long cutscenes. See you guys then.